I'm Morgan Massengill, and we're standing in the middle of the new science building. Now, this building is about 250 thousand square feet, so we have a lot of ground to cover. Dr. Greg Van Patten is going to give us a tour of the building. One of the great things about this uh, new building is the classroom spaces and the technology in the classroom spaces. We've got six lecture halls in here and I'll show you the first one here in the lobby. All right, so this is the medium-sized classroom in the, in the new building. It seats 75 students and uh, there's a lot of new technology in this classroom. There are big screen TVs on the, the uh, back wall there that the students can be looking at. The professor can lecture from a uh, uh, desktop computer that's, that's uh, there in the classroom, or there are floor inputs where they can use a laptop or an uh, iPhone or an iPad even uh, to, to control their lecture. So another thing that we can do in this classroom is we can capture lectures. Uh, there's a camera mounted in the back of the classroom and another one in the front of the classroom so that we can uh, capture the interactions between the students and the professors and actually uh, record uh, a lecture, post it later, or, or uh, make it available to, to students. So next I'd like to take you to the MTSU uh, Imaging and Microanalysis uh, Center. So we're inside the MIMIC Center and this is the scanning electron microscope. And uh, these electron microscopes that are here are used to look at uh, items that are too small to see with a light microscope. So we can uh, magnify things almost to the point where we can see individual atoms in the sample. Now these uh, two microscopes are used primarily by the biology department, but there are also chemists and uh, physicists who have reason to come over here and use them. Uh, all of it's accessible to students. Um, uh, it's, it's, they're heavily used by students, and in fact we offer courses on how to uh, use these instruments for uh, students whose research is going to take them in this direction. So I'd like to take you up and uh, show you one of the research labs in biology. The Molecular Biosciences program uh, has a laboratory up here and they're working on uh, extracts from Chinese medicines. So the work that I'm going to show you is also uh, uh, part of the Tennessee Center for Botanical Medicine Research, which has a uh, collaboration with the Guangxi uh, Botanical Gardens in China. So this is one of our biology research labs and there are several interesting features of these new labs in the new building. The lab we're in right now is a laboratory that is uh, heavily involved in uh, botanical medicine research. So they are looking at, uh, at uh, extracts from uh, these ancient Chinese remedies that, uh, uh, and we're getting extracts. We're collaborating with the Guangxi uh, Botanical Garden there in China and they are sending us uh, extracts from these plants and it's up to us to separate them to uh, test the biological activity of the pure compounds that are in these complex mixtures that come from the plants and to figure out which of the chemicals in these plants might be the ones that are uh, actually responsible for the medicinal activity. This is a collaboration that goes on in the biology department but also involves chemists upstairs uh, as we'll see later on. So one of the other uh, nice facilities of the building is the, uh, the write-up spaces and the informal learning spaces and the way students can uh, use these spaces. They can use the whiteboards. These are floor-to-ceiling whiteboards, and uh, you can see somebody's done their biochem uh, uh, homework here, it looks like, together. Uh, they also have some technology. We've got a flat panel display here mounted on the, on the wall. Students can come and plug their computer in there and, again, work together in groups to uh, maybe put the final touches on a presentation or something like that. So now we can go up to my favorite part of the chemistry, or the science building, which is the chemistry department. I wonder why that's your favorite. So I'd like to take you and show you one of our teaching laboratories. This is our biochemistry laboratory, which is an upper division class that uh, juniors and seniors would take. But it's a pretty typical of uh, a lot of the other uh, teaching labs that we have in the building, both on the biology and the chemistry level. Um, there are about 24 seats in each lab. And uh, this lab has some uh, special equipment that's uh, really neat, that's specialized for biochemistry. It also has some neat features around the uh, sides of the room. It's got flat panel displays on the walls, five of them that allow students to gather around, bring their computers and do group work. They can plug in and uh, it's also set up that you can uh, have a lecture in here and the professor can take the output or the input from any of those uh, flat panel displays and project it on the uh, main projector for uh, the entire class to see. And so uh, we, the cl whole class can discuss the work that uh, any one group is doing. Okay, so now we're back out in the uh, atrium again and this is uh, it's a huge, beautiful space. And down here we can uh, see what I call the mezzanine area. There's uh, on that wall, there's a big projector screen that can come down. We have floor inputs here and so we could line up seating here and use this for a seminar for special guests uh, uh, or special presentations. And uh, we may end up doing that sometime in the next semester. In addition, there's outside seating there for, for the students and uh, I find that particularly relaxing myself uh, to go out and get away from uh, 
my office sometimes. Thank you again, Dr. Van Patten, for giving me a tour of this absolutely incredible new science building. I think that the MTSU Science Department has some great things coming down the road. For MT10 News, I'm Morgan Massengill. Back to you.